Okay, let's start this recipe that I love from French for Everyone, my cookbook, which I'm very proud of. Uh, this is a beautiful quiche. There's quiche of every kind, but this one's got feta cheese, roasted cherry tomatoes, and basil, and it's to die for. Obviously, feta cheese, uh, the tomatoes are sweet, which I need to roast uh, before I put them in the quiche, just to concentrate the flavor. So I'm just cutting those cherry tomatoes in half. Put them in a little pan like so. And a bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, and just roast them for about 10 minutes. A bit of salt, a bit of pepper, and just a drizzle of olive oil. I've got the oven at 190 here, which is kind of the right temperature. And in for about 10 minutes. So while the tomatoes are roasting, we're going to do the base, the pastry base, which is already in the fridge. I've already rolled it out for you. I've got a dish here, which you need to butter and flour. And the best spoon ever is the hand. Be quite generous and push the butter on the side like so, and in the middle. And then what you do is put a bit of flour and then shake it around. And basically it helps the pastry not to stick, like so. Get rid of the extra. So all I've got here is a pastry that's a little bit bigger than my tart mold. And I'm just pushing it in. Just squeeze with your fingers all around. And that basically helps the pastry to hold on the edge of the tart case so it doesn't drop down when it's cooked. It's rustic, it's beautiful. We're not in a restaurant here. This is for home, this is for the family, the kids. That's what I love about French food. People think French food is complicated. They have to be spending time in the kitchen for hours and hours. And that's what the book is about. You don't have to. Just prick it as well to make sure it doesn't rise. So I'm gonna lay a piece of greaseproof paper, push it in. Basically what I'm doing here, it's called blind baking, which means that I'm cooking the pastry alone without color whatsoever. Put a bit of rice here, you can put lentils or anything you want, it's just a bit of white to keep the pastry down. All you do is put it in the oven for about 20 minutes. So the pastry is nearly there, so I'm going to do the mixture, which is half cream, half milk. It's 200 of milk, 200 of cream. I don't need the measurements. I know what I'm doing, but you should. And then I've got two eggs in here. So two eggs, 200, 200. Whisk in, pepper. I love pepper and quiche. Salt, don't be stingy on the salt. And that's pretty much it, so put it on the side for a bit and I'm getting the pastry out of the oven. Just get rid of the bag of rice, and it's blind bag, so it's, it's basically half cooked. Uh, because if we did put the mix into it before the pastry is cooked, it would be quite soggy, and that's not what you want. So then I've got, obviously, my cherry tomatoes. They've been roasted, look at that. That's what you want. So now I'm just gonna basically put the quiche together before I put it in the oven again. A few tomatoes in the bottom. Okay. Uh, feta here, which I just crumble. Not two small pieces, because uh, when you have a bite of the quiche, you want to have a big bite of the cheese as well. So don't be too stingy as well with this. You want to make sure that every piece is, I've got cheese and tomato, and then basil. How beautiful is this? You wouldn't have a quiche without Gruyere. I know it's an extra piece of cheese, but that's what's going to caramelize on the top of the quiche when it's cooked. So I'm just going to put some Gruyere just over that mixture of uh, herbs and feta and tomato. And then I'll put this mix of cream, egg, and milk, like so. And here we go, in the oven again, 190 degrees for about 25 minutes, or until cooked. Yum, here we go. All right, let's check this quiche. Every time I film the recipe, I get annoyed that you guys can't smell what I cook because 
Wonderful. It's buttery, it's cheesy, it's creamy, I just love it. The best thing to do before uh, you cut this quiche is to rest it a little bit, but I'm a little bit impatient. Look at this. Mm -mm. It might be a little messy, but you know what? This is home cooking at its best. Look at this, it's just, just set with the egg and the cream. Mmm, it's creamy, it's salty, it's sweet with tomato and that hit of basil at the end, it's really, really amazing. When you cook it, it'll be amazing too. Bon appétit.